Warning, the following episode will contain spoilers for the season three finale of The Mandalorian. If you haven't yet watched the season three finale of The Mandalorian or you don't wish to be spoiled, please refrain from watching this video. You have been warned. This is the way. The Mandalorian season three is officially wrapped up. The finale was last night and I gotta say it was absolutely fantastic. I loved every second of it. And most of all, I really, really had a great time hanging out with each and every single one of you guys last night during the countdown and watch party stream. I had an absolute blast hanging out with you all and I sincerely appreciate everyone's support. I can't wait until we get the opportunity to do it again, which leads me of course to the next question that I have. When will The Mandalorian Season 4 debut? After the delay of Season 3 of The Mandalorian, a lot of fans dropped off. The viewership wasn't nearly as high in previous years, which led many, including myself, worried about the future of the show. But being this as one of Disney Plus's flagship shows, I don't think we'll need to worry too, too much. The way the episode ended, with Din Djarin and now Din Grogu, it was literally set up like a happily ever after. But from what I understand, Jon Favreau immediately began writing Season 4 as Season 3 wrapped up. That in itself is good news, so we shouldn't have to wait very long at all for a script. Additionally, I believe that Disney recognizes that this is one of their flagship shows as I've mentioned, and sees that it is by far one of the best performing shows from Lucasfilm and will surely renew it for a fourth season. Favreau has stated that we were almost halfway or close to halfway through this story too I believe, so I think we can come to expect more from Mando and Grogu really soon. I suspect that we will get The Mandalorian Season 4 sometime by fall of 2024, maybe winter of 2024. I don't think it's going to be pushed to 2025. If that ends up being the case, I think that would be a grave mistake by Lucasfilm and Disney here. I think mid-2024 or perhaps fall 2024 should be the time frame that they're aiming for here. 2025? Nah, that would just be a huge mistake. So let's hope that they release it here sooner rather than later in 2024. The next question is, is Moff Gideon truly dead? And you know what? I was a bit surprised by this question that kept popping up in my live stream last night. I was like, did you guys not just see him get incinerated? I don't know. I just, I feel like he's pretty much a wrap, right? I honestly don't see how he could have survived that blast as we saw him get absolutely incinerated by the flames from the ship flown by Axe Wolves before he flew out of the ship. Some of my chat speculated that perhaps it was a clone of Moff Gideon that got incinerated. I mean, maybe, but I still feel like that's reaching a bit there. I truly don't think so. And then all of the other clones of Moff Gideon were wiped out by Mando, so with the original host burnt to a crisp, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Next up, what will become of the Darksaber? That remains to be seen. In the final stages of their duel, Moff Gideon grabs Bo-Katan's arm that's holding the Darksaber and crushes the hilt, permanently damaging it. I was shocked to see this happen and I thought, what will become of the Darksaber now? I suspect if they really want to preserve it, the Darksaber could be reforged at the Great Forge, provided that the Black Kyber Crystal didn't get destroyed within it, which I highly doubt Moff Gideon could crush it with his hand, even with his Beskar armored suit. I suspect that if they truly want to continue to use it, it will get reforged similarly to how the Skywalker Saber was reforged in the Rise of Skywalker and was continued to be used. Like the Skywalker Saber, the Dark Saber has had a long lineage of history behind it, so I don't think that they would be so quick to get rid of it as the weapon is a historical artifact for Mandalore in itself. Another one I have for you guys here is where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? After being mentioned in episode seven this season, the question still remains on his location. And furthermore, if he is indeed in contact with the Shadow Council following the events of episode eight. With Gideon presumed dead, someone will need to step up, perhaps continue the clone research, or continue the journey to bring the Empire back on what will soon become known as the First Order. We know we will be seeing Thrawn in the Ahsoka series coming to Disney+, Plus, so we shouldn't have to wait too long before we find out what the Grand Admiral of the former Galactic Empire has been up to. And the final burning question that I have for you guys after watching the Mandalorian season three finale is, will we see Grogu's parents? You know, it was mentioned in the season finale episode, which drew a lot of intrigue from myself and the audience, and it would be cool to see Grogu journey to see his parents. 
While the armorer mentioned his parents, Grogu was visibly sad so perhaps they were killed in the Jedi Purge at some point. Or it could be that they aren't force sensitive at all. We've seen that before from Tales of the Jedi and how Ahsoka Tano's parents weren't force sensitive so this very well could be the case with Grogu. I'm not sure if we'll get this question answered now that Din has formally adopted Grogu as his son making him a Mandalorian apprentice so this question may never get answered but here's to hoping that it gets explored eventually. The future looks incredibly bright for the Mandalorian and I cannot wait to see where the story ends up taking us here next. I hope you all had a great time hanging out during those streams last night and rest assured any Mandalorian news that happens I will most definitely keep you posted so make sure you're subscribed to the channel with your bell notifications turned on smash the like button if you enjoyed this one and rest assured more countdown watch parties are coming especially whenever we get to the Ahsoka Tano series coming out later this year until the next video I am your host A to the P Albert Perkins and we will see you in the next video until then and as always this is the way.